This is Japan. The changing of the seasons makes for beautiful scenery and at the same time bestows all the bounties of the sea and mountains. People revere nature, which has given birth to a unique food culture. This is known as Washoku, recently listed as intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO in 2013. Fresh seasonal ingredients are used, and stock brewed from fish and kombu kelp draws out their natural tastes. The traditional Japanese meal consists of ichiju sansai. Ichiju means a serving of one type of soup. Sansai, the three dishes, include the main dish and two other dishes. Centered on the staple of rice, accompanied by pickled vegetables, Washoku achieves an outstanding nutritional balance while containing very little animal fat. Washoku is imbued with the spirit of hospitality and attention to detail paid by everyone involved in its preparation. We'll explore the undeniable appeal of Washoku. Today, the focus is on Wagyu beef, a prized facet of Japanese cuisine. Wagyu is a type of beef that transcends any ordinary beef. It is meat from unique cattle, born and bred in Japan. Wagyu is hard to come by anywhere in the world and is a special food, even in Japan. One of Wagyu beef's distinctive characteristics is the marbling of meat with fat, like the meshing of a net, known as sashi. This fine meshing results in a tenderness that makes the meat melt in your mouth. This is the signature taste of Wagyu. Wagyu has a sweetness and distinctively rich flavor, which further enhance its sublime taste. Meat that's thick yet tender is the result of its maturation. I try to serve meat in this state so that my customers can truly enjoy how delicious it is. There are many dishes in Japan that allow for maximum enjoyment of the texture and flavors of Wagyu. In skiyaki, thinly sliced beef is served with vegetables. The meat is fried in a shallow pan and seasoned with soy sauce and sugar. This is shabu shabu. Meat sliced even thinner than in skiyaki is used for this style of cuisine. The slices are dipped several times in boiling stock and eaten with other foods, such as vegetables boiled in the same stock with ponzu vinegar or sesame sauce. All of these dishes bring out the delicate taste, tenderness, and flavors of Wagyu. It was the unique culture of enjoying the simplicity of ingredients that has made Wagyu into the delicacy that it is today. The choicest meat tastes great as it is. So rather than overcook it, we want people to enjoy the natural taste as much as possible. Another show of Japanese hospitality unique to its cuisine is the artistic presentation of the food and the way it reflects the four seasons. I think that the aromatic flavor is the most important factor in Wagyu, so I take care not to burn it. Red meat marbled with high quality fat is what gives Wagyu its exquisite taste. This delicate texture and sweet flavor 
Reimagine the standard concept of what beef is, making it a category unto itself. This is w a g y u Rice is the staple of Japan, but there are many countries around the world in which meat is the main course. There are said to be over 530 breeds of cattle in the world, and large scale grazing making use of vast fields is popular in the West. After all, cattle are large animals that provide a lot of meat. On the other hand, Among the 4 million cattle in Japan, there are only around 2.2 million cattle being raised for their meat. Of these, only 1.6 million of them are classified as Wagyu. These Wagyu are unique to Japan. Only cattle of these four breeds, born and raised in Japan, are allowed to carry the brand Wagyu. Of these four breeds, 95% are Japanese black cattle. The four breeds of Wagyu account for around 15% of the beef consumed in Japan. It has even greater scarcity value on a global scale, and Wagyu is synonymous with high quality beef. Originally, there was no tradition of eating beef in Japan. Until around the latter half of the 19th century, cattle were primarily used in agriculture and for transporting goods. Westernization of the food culture in Japan progressed along with the westernization of industry and customs. Meat consumption spread among the people, eventually giving birth to sukiyaki. Demand for milk and meat gradually increased, and smaller Japanese cattle breeds were improved through crossbreeding with overseas varieties. Although this succeeded in larger cattle, it resulted in a deterioration of their working performance and meat quality. Selective breeding was implemented to pass on only desirable traits. This paved the way to the current Wagyu standards after many generations. This ancestral heritage lives on to this day. Thanks to the efforts of ranchers and the livestock improvement associations that tirelessly strive to fulfill their commitment to the highest quality. This has led to the recognition of the Wagyu brand as an intellectual property unique to Japan. In order to protect this intellectual property, ranchers take great care of their cattle's lineage. All newly born Wagyu have prints made of their noses, similar to human fingerprints, which are registered at a specialized agency. This system began in the 1950s, and around 500,000 cattle are registered as Wagyu every year. The mother cow is also registered according to her fertility in an effort to boost the output of high quality Wagyu. The method of paying strict attention to the protection of lineage is an absolute necessity handed down through the generations to raise genuine Wagyu. Breeding high quality calves ensures they are bought by good farmers. This in turn ensures their happiness. Since they are eventually slaughtered, the least we can do is let them live good lives while they can. This is Wagyu. This is Wagyu.
This is Nozaki Farm in Kagoshima Prefecture of Southern Kyushu in southwestern Japan. A total of around 4,800 heads of Japanese black cattle, from 8 month old calves to 27 or 28 month old cattle, reside here. Around 270 heads of cattle are shipped out every month, of which 10% or so are exported overseas. Wagyu cattle are tended to individually and carefully nurtured in bountiful natural surroundings. Through a carefully planned diet to raise healthy, tasty cattle, they are virtually pampered by ranchers as the delicate cattle are brought up in hygienic, stress free sheds. Each of us cares for our cattle individually. Which is something unique to Japan that we put a great deal of effort into. I guess the reason I pamper my cows so much is so that they'll be appreciated as having the highest quality. I got married just about one week ago. At the party, I served some of my own Wagyu beef. Everyone thoroughly enjoyed it. All cattle in Japan are labeled with yellow tags on their ears and individually managed under strict regulations. The 10 digit codes printed on the tags are known as individual identification numbers, unique numbers that identify every meat product that originated from each animal. In Japanese restaurants where genuine Wagyu is served, this individual identification number is displayed. The system for managing Wagyu in Japan is one of the most thorough in the world. The traceability of beef is strictly stipulated in the law. All information on the breed, sex, the mother's ID number, date of birth, the place where it was born, The place where it was raised, the name of the farm, and other records relating to production and distribution are made available to the general public. At Nozaki Farm, information on individual calves is registered the moment they are bought. Detailed information on their management, such as records of medical treatment and the type of food they were given, is gathered to improve traceability. Wagyu are usually shipped out at the age of 30 months and delivered to the dinner table along with all the information on them. It's the combination of superb production skills and the attention paid to detail by the ranchers in their pursuit of ideal Wagyu, which make possible the outstanding quality found nowhere else. This is the Japanese standard for ensuring safety. Over 60% of the quality of Wagyu. Is determined by its lineage. What's important is who the parents were. A further 20% is dependent on its diet. In other words, what kind of food it was given. The remaining 20% depends on how it was raised by the rancher. Outstanding quality in Wagyu is achieved by an ideal combination of these three factors. All my employees love cattle. So, the saddest moment for them is if one falls ill and dies. But I think this is the kind of pressure that allows us to grow as ranchers.
We are learning from our cattle. It may be that the cattle are trying to teach us too. This is Wagyu. This is Wagyu. This is Wagyu. Grilling on a hot plate, a simple way of cooking and seasoning that fully draws out the taste of the meat. The price of Japanese beef is determined by its quality, which is classified into precise grades. Ranchers aim to produce the highest A5 grade meat, and they have been making improvements to boost the production of marbled meat. The glittering specks of fat on the surface of the meat are known as sashi. While fat is generally regarded as being the cause of obesity and heart disease, the fat contained in wagyu is actually believed to be quite healthy. This is because it contains the same family of healthy oils also found in fish, which is another food that Japanese cuisine is based on. In particular, Wagyu contains large amounts of oleic acid. Oleic acid is the main element found in olive oil. This is the Mayabashi Institute of Animal Science. Data on beef from every head of cattle born in Japan and samples from every head of cattle raised in Japan are kept here. State-of-the-art initiatives are being implemented, such as research into elucidating flavor and the genes responsible for marbled meat in order to produce ever better Wagyu. This is an experiment to compare the temperature at which fat from Wagyu and other cattle melt inside thin glass tubes. The fat turns transparent and rises as it melts. As you can see, fat from Wagyu is the first to melt. Because the melting point of oleic acid is low at 16 degrees Celsius, fat containing large amounts of it melt at low temperatures, giving off a pleasant, sweet aroma when cooked and melting in the mouth while giving off magnificent flavor. This data from an analysis of the composition of fat from beef reveals that Wagyu contains large amounts of this oleic acid compared to other kinds of beef. Of the three wonderful main characteristics of Wagyu, tenderness or smoothness is only one of them. But we need to carry out more research into the viscosity and sweetness of the fat. These are characteristics that are unrivaled by any other type of beef. We also need to know more about the quality of the fat and there is so much more that we can do about it that will be unique to Wagyu. The research has only just begun and we have ascertained that the tenderness and smoothness of the fat is due to oleic acid. This is the first step. There is so much more waiting to be discovered on the benefits of Wagyu. And I want to find out more as quickly as possible. Wagyu in Japanese cuisine. Japanese cuisine is unlike Western cooking, in which meat is the main dish and tends to seek to satisfy the appetite through volume. Japanese cooking combines seasonal foods, offering nutritional balance, and is partaken in appreciation of the bounties of nature. 
It is within this context that Wagyu offers tenderness and rich aromatic flavor. It is a completely new kind of meat that can be savory and satisfying even in small quantities. This is Wagyu. This is Wagyu. Seeing is believing, or in this case, tasting. We invited a journalist from Canada, a model from Russia, and a hotel worker from Vietnam to try Wagyu for themselves. The three of them visited Skiaki Kapo Hiyama in Tokyo, a restaurant with a long tradition established in 1912. The oldest part of the building was built in 1926 and it has been carefully preserved to this day. I feel special. Shall we? Yes. All right. Oh, it's a mess. We are in for a treat. <laughs> yum yum. Already. <laughs> Good way to develop an appetite. Yes. You cannot wait. You can wait. Okay. Hunger is the best sauce. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you so much. Can I wait for you folks or should I dig in? Oh, wow. I love it with the raw egg. There we go. Ooh, ooh. Delicious. Mm. Absolutely hungry. Come, on, come, come to the right place. Especially in this very cozy atmosphere. It's a very old restaurant, Japanese style, right? Right here in Japan. Wow. It's perfect. It's very nice. It's the perfect setting. Different seasonal flowers decorate the rooms every week as an expression of the owner's spirit of hospitality. Soft and delicious. I like it so much. I never tried before the meat like this. So nice quality. Well, sukiyaki is, uh, you know, developed in the 19th century. It's, not, it's a relatively new thing in Japanese cuisine. I mean, I, it's my understanding. It was, it was Japanese people didn't eat beef historically. It's Japan, Korea, China. It's it's because yeah, it's a northern. Thing. Yeah, it's too hot. Yes, sir. And Vietnam, I suspect, I that, huh? has to grow in cool, woody places, <laughs> forests, right? Flavor. <cười> Sukiyaki, oishi, rất ngon, tuyệt vời. Nếu mà các bạn có cơ hội đến Nhật Bản thì hãy đến đây, đến nhà hàng này, ngay tại Tokyo để ăn món oishi uh, sukiyaki này rất là tuyệt vời. Perfect. Дорогие друзья, если вы будете в Японии, то обязательно советую вам попробовать японское мраморное мясо. И блюдо, которое мы ели сегодня, оно называется sukiyaki. Это очень, очень вкусно. I've had um, Wagyu, Japanese beef, many times before, and again, this is probably the best, if not, yeah, probably the best uh, Wagyu I've ever had. It's just exquisite and superb. Uh, there's nothing quite like it. It's a rare treat. Today's dessert is seasonal strawberries with strawberry mousse. Seasonal delicacies served at the end of the meal are another enjoyable aspect of Japanese cooking. This is Wagyu. This is Wagyu. Лучшее мраморное мясо в Японии. This is Wagyu. Taking beef to the next level. It was the Japanese attention to detail that has given the world Wagyu. 
Overseas exports are currently growing, and systems have been set up to ensure safety by managing temperature and sterilization, and to meet specified risk materials standards in accordance with the accreditation criteria of other countries. Wagyu is a testament to the attention paid to detail and the spirit of hospitality invested by the rancher. Taste for yourself an entirely new culinary experience. Wagyu will undoubtedly offer you an amazingly profound delight. This program was made possible by the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. JIB is an international broadcaster connecting viewers around the globe with a variety of programs and the latest information from Japan. With 24-hour English live streaming on the website, boundaries are gone for good. A library of shows is available to help deepen your knowledge of Japan anytime you wish. Browse archives of posts and footage by foreign residents to get a real feel of today's Japan. Now Japan is only a click away. Log on to JIBTV.com.